It's the Raps are off Friday night ahead of a massive show at the O2 Arena, BKB 38 tomorrow. We have got 10 barn burner fights for you. I promise you, you are going to be thoroughly entertained from start to finish. One of the guys that's come to entertain you is to my left. He's Dominic Negus, making his, making, his, making his debut. But to my right, of course, we're, we're pleased to have with us Gareth A. Davis, TalkSport, The Telegraph, he's their boxing writer. And, Great to see you again, back and, in the business together. And of course, and of course uh, Ambassador for William Hill, is that right? Yes, that's right. Ambassador for William Hill, TalkSport, The Telegraph many years and plus other broadcasters but it's an absolute pleasure to be here with you today especially sitting with you not Tom. with him i know but it is as well because Don't be like that. Me and go a long we go we go back 25 years yeah. when when he was a, a young a baby, young young a man baby, baby. Still doing it. scrapping still doing it. on the roof in central yes. london yes. with audley harrison yes. and others oh, with audley harrison. well yeah. for 25 years he'd needed therapy Dom, let's let's talk about you. No beating around the bush. You're our oldest fighter. No, no, mate, you know, you, 53. Oh, it's and it's number. no, it's just a number. It's fantastic that we've got you in the ring at last. You've, it's been disappointing because twice you were going to get in the ring and yeah, it didn't yeah, happen. Yeah, it just, this is one of the things. It's just you know people say oh, this happened that. I mean, it didn't. It's just one of the things. These things happen. You know, I mean, we got mucked about in the last one. It's just this, this, you know, I mean, this is boxing. It's no different than the pro sport. I've had it in the pros. I mean, there's things like that. It's one of the things. But now, you know, Stanley's turning up, so that'd be great. Stanley's a good guy. What I know of him. Don't know too much about me. Listen, all I know, he's going to have to worry about me more than I've got to worry about him. Well, you've you know? got, you're going to win the Battle of the Crack, and I think you've got loads of people coming yeah, to support yeah, I think you. I've, yeah, I've, we've sold the place out. I mean, but I think everyone wants to come see me get beaten up. You know? no, I would have paid money for that. You toss up. <laughs> <laughs> to be See, well, I've got a with. If I wanted this listen, kind of abuse, I'd speak to my ex wife. Listen, we've had this banter for weeks and months it's now, we have, because he's brilliant. We have but great no, fun. That's one of the BKB. Because this is what it's like. And, and Gareth, you, you know, you're expert boxing around the world, but, you know, this is your first time at BKB. What it are you, is. What it are you looking forward to? Um, well, for a start, re reacquainting with old faces, seeing the new faces, and I think. What I've been amazed at in the last probably three years is how, like, the Indigo sold out, 2,000 fans, as Dom just alluded to. Um, I think people have got an, an attitude now that they want to see combat sports in whatever form it is, and there's no doubt the skills and the historical nature of bare-knuckle fighting has captured a lot of people, um, and I think it's drawing a lot of people in. I mean... You know, um, over the last, I think, I think four years, I had my doubts about it, but I'm sold on it. A lot now. of people did have doubts. Well, I, my, my my only reservation was: should this be on mainstream TV to begin with? It's very bloody. Um, it is knuckles. It's brutal. It's brutal. Yeah. This is what but, it's but, all about. This is what we're coming down to. This is. This ain't, there ain't no fannies in this sport. It's the purest it? form yes. of but boxing. Exactly. The purest form. Yeah. However, I will say that you know boxing as good as anyone. Glove boxing, you keep getting punched, your brain's doing this. In bare knuckle, you have a cut, it's over. Yeah, well, right? that's what I was so going to come to. it's actually safer. In a weird way, th there, weird is, way. there is that argument that it is safer. More blood, but safer. Uh, and, and also, it requires those skill levels of defence, yeah. which I've seen has really grown. Yeah. And when people, like you say, when I'm people get cut, it, it, I mean, you don't cut easily anyway, do you? Only my heart. Oh, oh my I tell you what, though, I've got to say... I've seen you twice the size. You look in fantastic shape. You've clearly worked hard for it. You're having me at it twice that size. Yeah, yeah but I was just a, I had a drink of five. You know, you know me. I'm, but since you joined us, you're yeah, looking better. Yeah, yeah, no, of course. You know, I mean, this is this is a proof of point. This fight is about me. People, I've got so many. Why are you doing it? You ain't got to prove nothing to no one. I've got to prove to myself. I think you need to get Audley Harrison into BKB. Well, you did fight. We'll have it in the car park. We'll car park. No, I think do it. At, do it at a sold out arena. But you did fight Audley, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. And his wife. Before we get on to your fight with Stanley, let's, Gareth, just developing what you were talking about there, and I think it's important for people to know, is that BKB, a lot of people have put off it because they think bare knuckle, hay bales, no rules, heavyweights against flyweights, not in BKB. In BKB, it's as professional as any boxing show you've ever been to, trust me. Yeah, no, I've seen it. Trust me, wait, wait, you don't make weight, you don't fight. 
Mm. It's as simple as that. Well matched fights yeah, and the rest yeah, of it. Yeah. So I think, you know, Gareth made a super point before about how it's grown and it's growing even further, especially with our connection with BYB, the American company. Yeah. Um, you know, we're bringing fighters here, <laughs> fighters are going there. Rules so, are being unified, which well, is good yeah. as well. Well, the, 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 the big difference, of course, and for both of you, of course, it's a standing count of 18. That's the first thing. Standing count of 18. <laughs> standing count of 18. Well, I'm going to take my socks off. <laughs> but also, and in, in BKB, the jab, you can get knocked out with the jab. Whereas in boxing, it's a, here, you get knocked out with a jab. Yep. The whole defensive mechanism, slip and move, yep. all that sort of thing is absolutely the same. The technical skills, well, Barry Jones has fought Kel Brook. Yep. We've and had Isha, Brooks, Isha Smith's going to fight. Yeah, He's a good, world champion for me. good Barry Jones doing on here. Oh, amazing. I, mean, I, know you, I know, but also, I'm a big, big fan and a good friend of Danny Christie. I know Danny's yeah. not here. But look at that boy. I mean, that boy, he's the one that's taken it to different levels. Mm. You know what I mean? But I mean, I think anybody that does his sport, they're proper people. They've got to be proper people, haven't they? You know what I'm saying? Do you, uh, in, like the, uh, the bare knuckle fighters of yore, do you dip your hands in petrol? Ahead? Uh, it was catfish, cat piss, is it? Yeah, well, some, some of you give me the other way, man. He said it's cat piss, but no, no. How do you prepare your hands well, listen, in a different I've, I've way? I've done it for years now. That I don't wear bandages. Never, even when I box the other month, the thing was boxing, just take my hands up like that because you just get used to things. Yeah. When I do my pad work, I just wear the old, remember the old soul bag gloves? Yeah. Just yeah. certain things, because I've noticed, and even Kevin, like Kevin Green, when he said, like, you start realising, we've got them big gloves on. When you take them off, it's, like, oh, it's like so much quicker. Yeah. And the target's a lot more smaller with the... You think, don't get it, it's a lot more dangerous. But when you've it's, got a glove on, you've got a bigger area to it. It's interesting. So you've got to be a bit more pinpoint with your, with your shots. Well, that's what I was going to say. You, it's so easy to break the bones in your hands. Yeah, yeah, yes. So are, are you having to be more pers perspicacious, more meticulous when you do <laughs> throw a punch? What's what? that mean? I don't know. It's a big more word. Accurate, more accurate, more precise. Accurate. I'm bagging trouble there. No, that sounds a big word. No, but... but no, you, know, one, one you mentioned a good point there about, about the, the gloves and, and, and most boxers, most BKB boxers... They do, their knuckles are badly damaged after yeah, the fight. Yeah, no, I get that. It's I a get fact that. and, and life. And that's what I'm always adding in the pros as well. My hand's always bad. My hand must swell up straight away. Even, I Even a glove. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So listen, it's just, it's the risk we've got to take. You know what I mean? It's what we do. Don't be wrong. I'll hold in there for like 10 minutes. What are you, let's now, because you're, you're on the eve of your fight, what are you bringing to the BKB ring? Because I can't wait to see your fight. No, you wait and see. I'm going to be a bit of, bit of panache. You know what I mean? I've got a little bit of style about him. I'm just a, and I don't mean, well, I can have a fight, you no. know, I can have a proper fight. You can brawl but, or listen, you can we, box. We've been working on some stuff. You know, don't Technical? We can wait and see, mate. Wait until the bell wins. We've had a good record, let's and be I'm fair. Saying, don't we? And I'm, I don't know what Stan Lee, he's a game boy. And I'm not saying, I would never ever, I'm one of people, I'm never saying nothing deal with you about my I'm not into all no. that stuff. Because I'm one of people, we only even make it to the, way, the, the scales, you know what I mean? Because I'm one of people, you ain't got a bad mouth thing, I'm not like that. But I just know, like, so you're going to see, you're going to see a bit of, bit of speed, bit of power to mine. We works on a lot of things. And for a big guy, well, I've got a lot of speed for a big guy, but also I've got the power. I'm not listen, you're pro glove 13 and 5, you're no mug when it no, comes no, to no, boxing, no. we know that. Yeah. But BKB is a little bit different, but, but I'm sure you've, I'm had a, you've had a few of those... Perhaps not legally, but I you've had a few. I think I was probably seeing me in action more outside the ring now. I was in the ring. One was doing the security at them shows, and it was never like people go, oh, I was, I was like, no different than I was doing the doors in the nightclubs. At least I've got one on one today. There's like four on one trying to smash you in with a glass hoop in here with a snooker cue. Yeah, Gareth, tell us, because I've asked him loads, but he lies through his teeth. You tell me what he's like. Dominic Negus is, uh, is, Dominic, Dominic. Is, a, is a very, very misunderstood man. Yeah. No, he's, he's worked with lots of great young fighters, had a terrific career himself. He, he's, he's loved in the boxing world. Um, there's not a smile that doesn't appear on anyone's face in boxing when Dominic walks into a room. We know he's as hard as nails. We know that yeah. you, you wouldn't tangle with him in the street. Last time I bumped into him was in Saudi Arabia, I think, yeah, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. Was, was it in Ottoman March? He was, <laughs> he was trying to make sure uh, Francis Ngannou and uh, Anthony Joshua didn't fight before the fight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and I've got to say, as I just said, he's probably lost about four stone, I'd say, since yeah, then. Yeah, definitely in shape. What it, yes, sir, I'm never going to be 14 stone again. What, 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 what,
Yeah, well, that's nice. Has I he been, know, has, has he been drinking? Has he no. been drinking? He's put it back. He's come off falling off the wagon by the sounds of it. <laughs> I know, but it's like but, the but, amount of people that have come to me, no. like people that we know, say, why are you doing this? We don't want you doing this. I said, but I need to do this. I was going to... Why? I, I, why? You know, I, yeah. I asked you before, didn't yeah, I? Why are you doing this? You don't need to. Yeah, but it's... You know me very well. You say I'm very. If I'm being, I'm starting to really get deep with me. I'm a very tortured soul. If you can sit there with me, you go. You didn't realise. You don't realise that. And it's the ones they say with the biggest smiles have got the biggest. Smiles. I've got lots of things going on that ain't right. But I just want to. I'm trying to exercise the demons here. I just don't put. To, no, I mean, you know, some of the fights I've had on the unlicensed. Some of them, but some of them good boys. But some of them, listen, I was a world class operator. I was a world class operator. So when I do my unlicensed boxing, some of these boys should be in the ring with me, mm. and that's why I feel it's a bit of a fault. So this is to me. This is man. I mean, this is proper. Yeah. So whoever get, and you've you've said it. it only takes me to take my crack, crack me on the chin. I'm out like the next person. So if, if Stanley thinks I've overlooked this, he's got. No, no, Can I'll, I tell you I'll, what Stanley said? Stanley said earlier when I interviewed him, he said if Dominic comes to box, I'm in trouble. If he wants to square off in the middle of the ring, he's happier. Well, we'll see, but it, can I put, I put it bluntly? He's, um, he's fucked either way, so I don't know. Because one thing, I, listen, I hurt my reputation out on the street. Yeah. And it took me years to learn out of the box. Listen, we all know you've had a colourful career. You and I have talked about it at great length. And a length. colourful life. Yeah. And a colourful life and a colourful just career. Just want to be happy. That's all I want. Just and want to be happy. You, you were in Danny Dyer's show as well, yeah, weren't you? Yeah, Danny you were, Dyer's. I'm Danny Dyer's deadliest dustbin men. Den- Den- you know, <laughs> I was the best dustbin men in that round. Yeah, but imagine being in debt to someone and he turns up at the door, you're going to pay on. You've sorted out a few no. of those yeah. over time, Listen, haven't you? Yeah, yeah. I made it clear, right? If he says it's Christmas, I'm singing carols. <laughs> no, listen again, I was just, I was just so, am still just very misunderstood. It's like if people can, you know, I've just talking, there's a new kid on the block, and I'll, I'll introduce him to you soon. It's <clears throat> from Newcastle, a kid called uh, Dylan, um, bloody old, what's it, Dylan, uh, Dylan Phoenix Morrison. I've just, I've just, he just signed up with uh, Frank, um, Andy Aiden signer. This kid, he's brought a little bit of passion back for me with the boxing. Okay. Wow. So I've read really him the pro license, like the box, the trainers. When I had the thing with Boy Jones, yeah. and I walked away from the lot. This kid, and that, he's like nice. All of a sudden, we were down at Tony Simpson's gym today, he was training there, sparring. You know, when someone brings something to the table, he's got. And they, his dad's known as Tony the Fridge up in Newcastle. <laughs> now, when you say that, look him up. You know, not Tony the Fridge. He does the mad marathons with a fridge on his back. Wow. But wow. I met a nice <laughs> kid here, but he's game as arseholes. Let me ask you now, just, just finally, we've talked about Stanley. You're also working yeah, with Kevin. Kevin, yeah, cool. Kevin Greenwood, yeah, who's that's, fighting. Yeah, I know. That's good. Cool. Listen. Are you in his corner? <clears throat> well, this suit, because you. <coughs> yeah, I know. Yeah. So, what I'm going to do, I'll get changed and, you know, open the belt on. Yeah, yeah, you know. Yeah, are you winning a belt? Or well, no, I don't no, know. No, I've got, got a bit, we've got a bit of string, I think. We've got a bit of string. It's not a title fight, this one. Not this one. No. But you will Do you have ambitions to get a belt in this, or does it depend how it goes tomorrow night? He means a belt to book round, you're not a belting. You carry on, son, you know. <laughs> what, well, everyone's going, this is going to be your only one, it's going to be only one, I go, let's see, eh? of course I want a belt. But it also belt. keeps you in shape, and I think that's yeah, important. No, me you know. I'm back in the gym, and I'm back training, people going, we've got me and Kevin are opening a new gym in Rayleigh, which when it's open, I want you guys to come to yeah. the opening. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. We've got a big gym going on, it's going to be, the pu- we've got, it's going to be mad, it's going to be a lot of people investing money in it, so, I mean, so we're looking at, you know, I'm trying to get back into something I know and something I love. You know, I've been and a bit... that loves you. Uh, yeah, but yeah, I think that's, that's, that's a well. key point. You know, I've, when I was working at the Oslo, I was in the Oslo, I kind of got lost again because he's he dealing with madness every day, madness every day. Even though it's the first time ever, and I can talk with you, talking, I'm overdrawn at the bank because I'm not earning the money I was, but I'm a lot happier in myself. Key because, word, yeah, happy. And I'm getting it, I'm getting it. All I want to be is happy. And I said, well, then, in the podcast, please, help me. Fucking help me. Just help me. You know what I mean? It's listen, like... listen, guys, this guy, we've waited a long time for Dominic Negus to fight, oh, for no, Dom to there's fight. There's no pressure, then, no, is it? No, we've waited a I'm long time. Because, the because you're, what the, you're what any sport needs. You're a character. We yeah. need characters and personalities in any yeah. sport, you know? Narrative sells. Yeah, 100%. It's as simple as that. But you also, I've got this funny feeling you can back it all up. Well, I've done it in the past, I ain't going to be no different than mine. Either I'm looking at it, you've been expected to not going to be on points or whatever, but I'm winning them. The best bare knuckle guys I've seen, a lot of them are ex boxers or MMA yes. guys. Yes. They're really patient in the way yeah. they fight. Yeah. I don't mean, listen, I don't know what I've got to do. I don't think I'm going to just come out stirring. Listen, I'm, 
He's trying to draw you into a fight in the centre of the ring. But I do he? think, I do Listen, think it is only three speak. rounds. You can't, you've got to come out the blocks ready Listen, in this sport. Yeah, but, but we wait and see. Three this twos. Make me think three twos. Listen, I'm used to ten twitter up. You won't even be blowing. (laughs) (laughs) We've had enough. Ladies ladies and gentlemen, Gareth A. Davis, great to have him with the the, the, the camp. Great to have him with us. Great to have him with us. I can't wait. Where's the chocolate biscuits? (laughs) He's Dom Negus. It's going to be... You are an absolute... He was the Milky Bar Kid. He was the Milky Bar Kid. He was the Milky Bar Kid. It's tomorrow, 5 o'clock, BKB 38. BKBWorld.tv. Do not miss it because he's in action. He, I promise you, he will be well worth watching. Gareth A. Davis will be with me and he will be fighting and we will be loving it. Take care. We'll see you soon.